The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. Once in royal David's city stood a lowly cattle shed. Where a mother laid her baby In a manger for his bed Mary was that mother mild Jesus Christ, a little child Christ has brought us out of darkness to live in his wonderful light. 
For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. To earth from heaven, who is God and Lord of all, and his shelter was a stable, and his cradle was a stall, with a poor and mean and lonely. Savior holy. For he is a childhood's pattern, day by day, like us he grew. He was helpless and smiled. Because he knew, for us at last, and our eyes at last are seeing through his own redeemed. very warm welcome to you to St John's for this service of lessons and carols. I'm Father Brendan and I've been the parish priest since April so it's very good to welcome you here my first Christmas as parish priest. Uh, there are refreshments at the end of the service. We hope you'll stay so that we can get to know one another, another a little and share some Christmas spirit uh, and an apology. Uh, this service was actually produced by my predecessor for this occasion three years ago. And of course, over three years, over COVID and the epidemic, many, many things have changed. So some of the details of this service are not as they were then. Uh, there is meant to be a collection for the Children's Society, but we can't take collections during the service. So there'll be a retiring collection for the Children's Society. So first, let us pray. Gracious God, we have come together to celebrate the birth of Jesus, the light of the world. Be with us as we hear the story of the journey to Bethlehem, the song of the angels, the surprise of the shepherds, and the wonder of the wise men as they found Jesus in the manger. Amen. Jesus, light of the world. 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 So please sit as we listen to the scriptures. Our first reading is taken from the Gospel according to Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God 
to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. To all who feel confused and unable to cope this Christmas, Lord, bring your hope and support.
is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2, the birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quiricus was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea in Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her first son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. To the homeless and all those who struggle to find security and comfort in this world, Lord, bring safety and comfort. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field, 
keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the shepherds went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. To all who feel unloved this Christmas, Lord, bring your light and love. A reading from Matthew, chapter 2, The Visit of the Wise Men. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, 
there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And they opened their treasures and presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. But being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. The word of the Lord. Let us pray. To all who feel scared or lost this Christmas, Lord, bring your light and care.
We remain standing for the reading from St. John, the Word became flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The word of the Lord. Jesus is the light of the world, a light no darkness can quench.
Let us pray. Almighty God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the joy of the angels, the humility of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Mary and Joseph, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and forevermore. Amen. We go in peace to share the peace of God with all we meet. We go in love to share God's gift of love with the world. We go in the light and peace of Christ to shine as lights in the world to the glory of God the Father. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if we could just um, say thank you to our visiting organist who's come all the way from Cardiff. Thank you very much, Neil. Brilliant. And I told a lie. Um, the, uh, the collection today is not for the Children's Society because we've decided the Christmas collections will go towards the work of the Sisters of the Church who are uh, based in Bristol serving homeless people. So that's right, isn't it, Nicola? Yes, excellent. I saw she looked askance when I mentioned it before. So there's a, there's a, a bowl here for Sisters of the Church work with homeless people. <laughs>